Whenever you perform a calculation in chemistry, looking at the units is very important. You want to make sure that you know what units you're working with, so one, you make sure the proper units cancel, and two, that the units you're left over with will be what your unit should be for your answer. We're going to look at a very simple example using one of the gas laws. PV equals NRT is the ideal gas law. What we're going to do is we're going to look at a simple example where we're not so much looking at the numbers, but more so looking at the units. In this example, we're given P, V, N, R, and we're asked to solve for the letter T. The first thing you want to do in math problems with chemistry is you want to isolate the variable. So what that means is we want to rewrite the equation that we're given in order to have the variable that we want to solve for. I want to solve for T, so I need to get T by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by N and R. When I do that, the NR will cancel on uh, the right side, and so I'm going to be end up left over with temperature equals pressure times volume divided by N, which is my number of moles, and then R, which is the gas constant. Right now, it doesn't matter what those mean. What we want to look at is we want to look at the variables and make, or excuse me, the, the units of the variables and make sure that they all cancel out. So like I said, I'm not going to be looking at the numbers so much. I'm going to look at the units. So temperature is going to be equal to, my pressure is going to have the units of ATM. All right, so ATM, whoop, there we go, ATM. My volume is going to be in units of liters. N is in the units of moles. And then the gas constant has some funky units here. Let's take a look at them. You've got ATM times liter times mole to the negative first times K to the negative first, which stands for Kelvin. When you see times, anything times 10 to the negative first, that's basically the same thing as saying 1 over mole and 1 over Kelvin. So another way to write this is like this. ATM times liter divided by mole and Kelvin. So I'm going to stick that in right over here. All right, so let's rewrite this a little bit so it looks a little cleaner. So we have ATM and liter. We have moles still, but here's what I'm going to do. Notice this is a fraction, and not only is it a fraction, but it's a fraction written in the denominator. Remember, when fractions are written in the denominator, that's the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So that's what I'm going to do, just to make it look a little nicer. So I'm going to multiply this by the reciprocal, which would be mole Kelvin over ATM liter. So hopefully now you're able to see what's going to happen. The atmospheres will cancel, the liters will cancel, the moles will cancel, and so I'll be left over with the unit K, which the unit K actually is a unit of temperature known as the Kelvin. So all my units cancel and I'm in the correct unit that I should be for temperature. Unit cancellation is important because like I said you oftentimes can detect whether or not a mistake has been made, whether you're calculating correctly, or what unit your answer should be in.